How's it going guys? FoxUp64 here on my cell phone because I got a special video that I want to make. Hopefully it'll work out. I've never done this before so it's brand new to me but today I was thinking about doing an unboxing. I got some new action figures. Not really action figures. They're more models. Um, I don't play with them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't all right I kind of play with them but um, it's kind of fun for me to model things and I like to to collect things that I'm interested in so this is kind of like an insight into all the stuff like you can see on my wall all that jazz I like to collect things that um, bring good memories uh, video games I love animes that I love so hopefully you guys will enjoy this all right so for today we're starting out with some Deku. This little guy picked it up at the lunchbox at Beaver Creek. It's um, really cool. She, the girl came up to me because I was wearing a My Hero Academia shirt and she was like, oh, you're gonna love this. And she was right, I did. He's very detailed. I saw him out of the box, but I'll show you guys as soon as we start opening. Next we have Geralt of Ravia. I'm kind of sorry for the lights, but this guy is from The Witcher 3, Witcher 1 and Witcher 2, and all that stuff. It comes with a few other little extra things. He was at GameStop. I bought him probably a couple weeks ago. He's just been sitting here. And then finally we have Kratos. Everybody should know who Kratos is, but if you don't, he's from the God of War series. He comes with his axe, his Leviathan axe, and his shield. I don't remember the name of the shield. You guys can correct me in the comment section, but he looks pretty cool. I love these guys. This guy was also at um, GameStop. I kind of I went back like a couple days later and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get them. Uh, they are from the, both of those guys are from the Good Smile Company. Uh, if you guys go check them out, they have a website. I might leave the link below. Um, I'm pretty sure Crane King, whatever, Crane King, whatever. Crane King was maybe the creator of this. Sorry if I'm butchering that, but yeah, we'll get started. All right, so maybe I should turn the brush off. I mean, but here we go. I'm doing this one handed, wasn't prepared. Don't have a stand for my phone. Shouldn't be too hard to pull him out. All right, anything in the box? Nope, box is clear. Get rid of the box. All right, don't, don't get rid of the box. I got my trusty knife to take care of. Oh, good. <laughs> take care of the tape. All right, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Ooh, it's upside down. Oh, his head's off. Oh, some assembly required. I'll, uh, I'll assemble this and Quick, we'll and right easy. We got Midoriya, or Deku, as he likes to be called, in full form. Let's see if we can get a light on this thing. I guess not. All right. This guy is really cool. Look at the detail. Fully detailed. He's got, you can see the ripples in the clothes. You can see he's got his mask down, shoes. <laughs> Just, it looks like they took good care of it and they, they definitely uh, got his uniform right, got his face. Love that he's going into a, a smash of some sort doesn't matter whichever one you want there's a million of them <laughs> so yeah this is Deku he's pretty sweet I don't know where I'm gonna put him yet but we'll find this right, now I got the, the light on auto so <laughs> I'm gonna try to open this guy up there's obviously gonna be more assembly required maybe you guys like to see the assembly part I don't know maybe if I had a stand for my phone 
Don't get rid of the boxes, just in case you gotta move them. Alright, he comes with all kinds of goodies. Let's get this shiny box up top of the room. Incredibly hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Next time there'll be more planning and more things involved. We'll get him out. They always have plastic around their parts that you're supposed to take off. Let's take his head off real quick. Let's see. Oop. Here comes some of those. Uh... They really wrap these guys really, really nice. Here, I want you to look at that real quick. Alright. I dropped his body. See his head come off. Shoulder pad that came off. But... Right, now we're gonna put it back together. Hopefully, we can do this. Oh, look at that. the armor itself. We can just look at it without the head. Real quick. The armor. Let me take off the pad just so you guys can see its detail underneath. It's the wolf's armor. It looks pretty awesome. See if we can assemble his head with one hand. Nope. <laughs> Maybe if I put this. Nope. This is all flummoxed up. So we, we got his head on now. He looks really good. I like the way he looks. Pretty good in my collection. We'll uh, get his swords out and we'll be right back. Geralt of Rivia. Alright, so he comes with his silver sword and his regular sword. I'm not going to go into the details of that, but he comes with a little crossbow for his... I think it's probably going to be connected? I think they're connected. Yeah, they're definitely connected. So, these are his sheaths for his scabbers or whatever you want to call them for his swords. We'll put those on. Here's his little igni fire thing. That's pretty cool. I pulled out his head and his bath. And he comes with glint. He's holding glint cards and then two hands to hold the swords. So let's put the swords together. All right, so I got his sword on. He looks really cool. He holds it pretty well too. It kind of just clips in. But there they are on his back. Looks really cool, looks really good for the detail in his, like just the like simple detail is what I, what intrigues me about these toys. He's got his silver sword out. Or maybe that's the silver sword. I don't know, I think that's the silver sword. Um, but yeah, like I just like the simple little chibi detail of these. I'm not a huge fan of like chibi anime or anything, but like, I really do like the whole cheeviness of like these cool characters. I have one of Saitama from One Punch Man, and I have one of Link and Zelda, Toon Link and Toon Zelda. So I'm I'm attracted to these these little guys. I think they're really cool. Um, let's get a stand on and maybe some Igni out. And check it out. So mm -hmm. here he is. I put him in a position. He's throwing out his fire. This is probably one of the cooler ones I bought. I'm excited to open up Kratos as well. He's really cool looking. I really like the detail and the cheeriness of it. So cool. And last but not least, God of War, Kratos in the flesh. All by his Lancy Savvy. I didn't have Atreus. I don't know if they have Atreus. Honestly, he might be too small or, I don't know, he'd be, they're the same size, that'd just be weird. But yeah, let's uh, open it up and let's All see. Alright, the major got. step is out of the way. I got him. He's, he comes with his axe hook and I'm pretty sure that's to hold the shield on. He comes with four different hands, not including the ones he's got. He's got his rage face, which I'll probably put that one on because... He's stern right now. Put a little body the next. I was thinking about like getting a blue marker or something and like coloring in the little gems with blue or purple or something. That'd be kind of cool. 
Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Let's go. All right, out. so here he is. I got him kind of jumping. These uh, stands that they have are really tough. They don't uh, bend easy, so it's really easy for you to like put them in air poses and whatnot. And here he is kind of like getting angry and jumping like he does. I kind of like it. The, uh, all their parts hold on pretty tight, but they're not so hard that they um, break when they come off. A lot of the times you get some of these toys or models or whatever you want to call them and some of their parts will be a little bit too tough and sometimes you can actually end up breaking them. So I like the, um, the Smile Company because they make them hold on, but they also make them come off pretty well, pretty easy. And here he is with his angry axe. You can actually put his axe on his back as well. He looks really cool. I'm excited for this. Some of the other parts, he, yeah, he comes with. And he just he, he comes with the least amount I've ever got, which is a couple of hands and a face and whatnot. But he he doesn't need anything else. He's Kratos. He is the god of war. The god of Inga. Boy. I had to do it. I'm not very good at it, but yeah, that's Kratos. He looks so cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little deep dive into some of the nerdiest things that I could show you. Deku, God of War, God of War, Kratos, and Geralt of Rivia. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Check out my channel, FoxOp64. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like of this video if you want to see more, if you actually liked it. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, maybe do another one in the future whenever I get something else. Wait, there is something else, but I will leave that to your imagination. If you want to see more of these kind of like unboxings, it's not very good. I'll uh, try to get a stand for my phone or something so I can make it easier. So you guys can see the whole process of unboxing these beauties. Um, just leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me uh, if you guys want to see more. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.